Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, I'm Anna Mae, and today I'm gonna to be talking you through how I care for and style my wavy hair. So I started to transition my hair into its natural, more natural texture about a year ago now. Um, I was living in the US at the time. I had been heat styling my hair a lot because I was kind of new in a work space and it was just what seemed appropriate to me, but I was just done. So I decided to try and transition my hair to its more natural texture. My hair is naturally light-ish in color. It is also bleached. I think I'm kind of through the transition phase of my hair. My hair did like go back to its natural texture very quickly. Um, I will insert a photo actually of the first time I did like kind of a curly girl method to dry my hair the first two times. I'll just put like one, two. Um, it, it really worked. So I have just kind of held off on making this video because I wanted to really explore more products, but I've decided that it's never gonna be perfect. So I might as well go ahead and share what I'm doing now, what I think works now and basically just share with you as things change and as I change things in my routine. But to give you some framework on my hair, I don't know what my like to be, to see, I don't know. Um, you can see my hair here. It's very wavy, but my hair can look very different based on how I dry it. It will never be straight, that's for sure. But um, I'll insert a photo maybe here of what my hair looks like if I don't if I basically use a different technique when I dry it, which can look really good, but it can also look really like limp and flat at the roots. So what I'm gonna be talking to you through today is how I do this. I do also lighten my hair, I get balayage. Not very often because my hair is naturally pretty light. Um, my hair is also super fine. I do not have thick hair. I have quite a lot of fine hair, but I would still say I have only like medium to thin hair and then the hairs themselves are very fine which makes me more prone to frizz but it's also just being naturally fair haired apparently it's just to do with like protecting your scalp or something from the sun so that's kind of the basis of my hair um as i said i transitioned my hair this time last year but i've always had wavy hair i wore my hair wavy and natural most of the time in secondary school and i didn't heat style my hair which i'm very thankful for now because my hair is not destroyed and my hair is quite long as well you can see here so when it's straightened like this is with some shrinkage so um when my hair is straightened it's very long but i am growing out my hair at the minute. I did have a pretty major haircut last year and I'm still not quite over it. So that's kind of the background of my hair and how I style it. So I'm just gonna get into my routine and what I did literally last night to give me hair like this. I also want to emphasize that it's really, really hard to find your like perfection with wavy or curly hair because I see photos and videos of people and how they're styling their hair I'm like, that'll be perfect. I, and I think that their hair looks perfect, but really it depends so much on what you like and what is actually growing out of your head. Uh, it's not something that you can really truly control. And sometimes you just need to let go of that control and do your best. I always felt like for a long time, my hair wasn't like wavy enough or curly enough because my hair, I don't say it's curly, but I know some people think that it is um, when you see it dried in other ways. But you know, you just have to like let that go. I'm filming this today because I was really happy with how my hair turned out last night. It's not looking as good this morning, but that's fine. You just have to like let it go and try your best and just play around with it until you find things that work for you and just kind of keep exploring. That's why I decided to share this now. It's like the more information you have, you don't need to copy someone's routine exactly, but you can take bits and pieces and what's that called? You know, like the bigger your uh, experiment size, the better your results kind of like that. So now let's get into the actual hair routine. So right before I wash my hair, I'll just kind of evaluate the situation. I do wash my hair every other day because I have to, because I have super oily hair, just oily roots. The lengths of my hair are so dry. Sometimes I will use like a boar bristle brush and I'll kind of brush through individual sections to 
spread the oil if I can or I'll just use it on my scalp because it's like very refreshing feeling um but I'll just kind of evaluate the situation if I have any major tangles because as I said my hair is super fine and because it's chemically lightened it's a whole situation I'll sort out that problem and just go really gently and just kind of pick out the knots so then into the shower and I shampoo my hair with this point I'm using Shea Moisture it's the is it the fruit fusion coconut water line I'm using that right now the shampoo smells really good I think it's formulated for wavy hair and it's supposed to be like quite weightless I'm really liking the shampoo I'm someone who reacts a lot to shampoos um I was using diva curl but I'm gonna talk about my favorite products in another video so we can talk about all of that sort of stuff then I'm really liking that shampoo so I'll go ahead and I'll just shampoo my hair as best as I can and depending on how much product I've put through the length of my hair I might bring it down a little bit but not too much because as I said my hair is super dry uh, then I'll go in with once that's all like already rinsed out I'll go in with conditioner so I don't know if this is like controversial opinion or whatever but I use a mask like every time I wash my hair and that is every other day I just don't use that much of it I kind of use it like a regular conditioner so as far as the actual like regular conditioner um I take my Shea Moisture, the same Fruit Fusion one, and I have to use so many pumps of that conditioner. It's nice, but it is super, super lightweight. Probably great if you've like, suavey, curly hair that's like shoulder length, great. When your hair is as long as mine, I need a crap ton of conditioner. So I'll probably take four or five pumps of that, and that will just be for like, the, the upper midsection of my head. Like from the top of my ear to not even my neck that kind of section and the canopy because um, that is obviously where I want the most lightweight conditioning but still conditioning and I'll kind of squish that in as best as I can and leave it there. Then I'll go in with a bit of a mask. The mask I'm using right now is Shea Moisture. I can't remember, it's like 10 in one. I can't remember what it's called. I'll show it on screen. Um, and that is so nice, it smells so good. It's like butter. So I'll put that through the lengths of my hair and you need a good bit of water with that to really like emulsify that and get it through your hair. And then I'll brush out my hair with a wet brush. I'm using like a vented one for blow drying your hair, but it's great in the shower because it doesn't collect any water. I did use a tangle teaser before, don't love it. Uh, I used it for a long time before I was wearing my hair natural and stuff. Brush that through and then I will squish to condish. So I don't really adhere to the curly girl method specifically because I do a lot of things that you're not supposed to do, but I'm just living my best life. So uh, I'm squish to condish that all up in my hair as much as I can um, and I'll try, I'm trying more now to like flip my head over and move it around to try and get the clumps a bit more together because as I said I have super fine hair so I will end up like bald on one side of my head. Um, you can see I would be trying to get a lot of volume, it's just not possible. Um, so I'm trying to do that and I kind of leave that to sit while I wash my body and, you know, shave my legs, whatever. Once that is, you know, sitting in my hair for a while, I'll then finger comb it out as I'm taking the conditioner out. And again, I'll try and move it around a little bit and I'll try and kind of zhuzh my roots uh, to get them less stuck to my head. Um, when I switch off the water, I'll do that as well. I'll just kind of ruffle in my roots and try and lift it a bit and squish out a little bit of the excess water, but really not that much. Um, so then when we go to actually start to dry our hair, or not dry our hair, but to style our hair, I, when I'm styling my hair like this, I will actually comb through my hair after the shower. But what's really important is that you keep your hair fully saturated with water. So I have a great spray bottle for that. I'll be talking about that in my other video. But I will keep my hair completely saturated and move it around and comb it out again because my hair is so prone to tangling. I cannot emphasize this enough. My hair is so fine and because it's wavy, it just snarls together. And even when I go to the hairdressers and they're trying to brush out my hair, they, all, <laughs> they always ask me, they're like, just, does your hair always react like this? It's like, yes, it hits the water and it's like <coughs> So, you know, always combing it out. When my hair is like fully saturated with water and I'm kind of happy with, it'll still be kind of stringy, but it'll be fine. I'll go in with Boots Curl Cream. This is super inexpensive if you're in Europe or I, I'm assuming it's other places in Europe. I know it's obviously in Ireland and it's in the UK. It's a UK based company, but that's a confusing situation right now. I will go in with Boots Curl Cream. It is the best. 
guys if you're in Europe and it's so cheap so it's really something if you're going to try and transition your hair it's a good one and to me I think it's it really works well for wavy hair too so I will go in pretty generously with that and use the praying hands kind of application method and really get that all through my hair and I might finger comb it a little bit through and squish that in then so I might add some water and make sure the hair is really like saturated with water and the curl cream so it's really getting everywhere in my hair Um, I won't work that up towards my roots so much because it is quite a I would say it's it's not a moisturizing product but it would make my hair look a little bit greasy so I would avoid that but um, I would make sure that is fully applied throughout all of my wave clumps kind of and um, when I'm happy with how squishy it is and saturated it is with the product I'll then go in to dry it so I'm going to be squishing it to dry it um, you'll see the like squishing up method uh, I'll scrunch up my hair and I will dry it with an old t-shirt I don't have any microfiber towels um, because I know that they're pretty bad for the environment when you wash them so I just use old t-shirts and specifically an old pair of cotton pajama pants that got really worn out and had holes in them so I cut them up into hair towels so I'll use that to dry my hair as as much as I can really and then maybe I'll apply a little bit more curl cream if I want to but I will probably go in with the Diva Curl Light Hold Gel I know lots of controversy about Diva Curl I'll talk about that another time but I just rebought this. I love this product. Um, it smells so good too. So I'll go in with a little bit of that and I'll kind of scrunch that in more so um, just to give that extra bit of hold before I go in and diffuse my hair. So a big problem with me with diffusing is that I'm so impatient. Um, when I'm diffusing my hair I'll try and flip my head around a little bit um, and start to kind of like lift my roots up a little bit more again. Um, because as I'm scrunching and everything like that, I'm trying to do it, but I know that it would just create a lot of separation and stringiness in my hair. So I'm going to be diffusing in the regular old way of just pulling it up by my head. And I, as I said, I'm really impatient. I've learned that the longer I hold it in one place, it will turn out better. But do I? I don't always follow that rule. So, you know, we're still learning and becoming better at that. But I will kind of diffuse focusing on the areas that are looking their best and if an area is kind of separating looking stringy not working I can always just mist it with my water and then try and dry it in a better shape um I don't do like I don't finger curl my hair at all uh, I just leave it as it is but the front of my hair is always in like better shape this whole section of my head is just better than the rest so when I've kind of diffused and I've mostly dried the ends I'll go in and I'll dry my roots and this is one I've been doing recently and it's just making my hair look so much better um, and dry ni more nicely no matter what way I dry my hair and um, because it just really gives a lift to the roots and I feel like it makes my hair last longer as well it gets less greasy because it's less flat so it's just getting the diffuser head and trying to get it into your roots as much as you can and like moving it around and just really zhuzhing your roots um with the hair dryer and especially at the back it's just I really like it I just like the effect it gives it really gives lift and it just makes your hair drying experience a lot more comfortable if that makes sense so then when that whole kind of diffuser phase is done it is probably the most difficult step which is the don't touch phase you're gonna have some sort of a cast on your hair um i'll insert a photo of my cast last night when i was drying this was magnifique but uh it's obviously gone now you don't want to touch your hair while your cast is really setting you're gonna if you need to flip your hair because my hair will always like get in my face because it is so long but you're gonna want to like do the flip like that no touch no touch I always saw this with India Batson this is one of the things that I really focused on when I first started to transition my hair and I got out of the habit of it but now we're doing it again so don't touch your hair that's the, what my hair looks like when it's flipped the other way um it's hard getting in the habit of like not touching your hair while it's drying but this is like the biggest part of getting your waves or curls to look good is to let them dry by themselves don't touch only style them when they're wet then diffuse and leave it so flip your head around because that will help with volume a lot then you've just got to leave it and see how it turns out so that is how I am styling my wavy hair at the minute obviously 
haven't said it yet, but we're in isolation or we're, you know, social distancing. I'm personally, I'm in Ireland, so we're actually in lockdown. They're not calling it lockdown, but we're in lockdown. I'm not seeing anybody. I only put on makeup for this video and because I wanted to, I should really be doing work on my dissertation, but I'm not. I think now is a great time to try and transition your hair if it's something you've been thinking about because honestly, if you don't, I shouldn't be like saying this, but if you don't like it, you can always just go back. It's not a permanent thing, but um, the longer you leave your hair and style your hair naturally and really take care of your hair, the better it will look. I personally didn't have the struggle of my hair looking terrible for the first while when I was transitioning. It just kind of went well for me, um, which I'm very happy about given that my hair, I would say, is very fragile. So I'm surprised it transitioned so well. I'm hoping to also post a video on my favorite hair care products right now and what I've used previously, just my favorite um, products that I use on a regular basis. Some of them are not mentioned in this video because, you know, things change all the time, but I think it's good to know in general a wider scope and then it can help you figure out what's best for you. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to try and style your hair naturally. Very excited for you. Follow me on Instagram at anmay.yt and I will see you in my next video.